Hi guys, so Christio is at the verge of killing me because she's jealous. Christio said every other housemate's room is so small. Why is that of a winner this big and has a balcony? Hey, the balcony paint Christio, he paint now. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Williams. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, it's that time of the year again. For every Big Brother Niger fan, you all know this is the time for basketballs. This is the time for drama. I mean, in reunions past, we've seen slaps, we've seen fights, we've seen people making up, people breaking up. It's been a fun ride. And this season, yes, guys, of the Level Up reunion is not going to be any different. Yes, so because, hey, hey, all these housemates are gathering together in that their famous hotel. Yes. So in last night, we saw Fina checking, Farm Survey, Christy O, Dotun, Giddy Fire, Ilebaye, and Chomzi are already in the hotel as we speak. Yes, guys. So I pray they gave Fina the biggest room that's kind of like in the penthouse or something like that. Yes, guys. And she's like, you know what? In whatever you do, try to win. Oh, but this girl is in high spirits. And I just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just like anticipating what's going to be happening at the reunion. Yes, guys. So for those of you who do not understand all these things I've been rambling about, well, it simply means Big Brother Niger Level Up Reunion is here. Yes. Ah, ah, hey, hey. Are you prepared? Because me over prepared, they worry me. I've been looking forward to this since like what last month. Yes, guys. But then again, these guys have not had um announced for any audition though. I know that normally Big Brother um normally starts after Idols Nigeria. Idols is actually going on at the moment. Why have they not announced anything? Huh? Huh? Ha! Anyway, Sha, let's just be, you know, watching to see if we're going to be having another season of Big Brother. I mean, it would be a shame if we don't have another season, but let's see what Big Brother has up his sleeves. Yes, guys, what are your expectations for the reunion? Are you expecting some basketballs? Are you expecting some, you know, whatever? Let me know in the comment section. Yes, guys. Now, away from all that, it was all pump and penetry for Kosi as she did her homecoming yesterday yes guys i mean we had lots of other ex-housemates with her marvin Melly, um juicy j they were all there to celebrate with her they went to newcastle with her the mayor of newcastle even asked of miracle op a miracle could not keep calm about it i mean talk about a mayor asking about you yes guys i mean um Kosi's mom had a lot of beautiful things to say Mommy was not even like happy that the baby girl went for Big Brother because she was like, ah, you are leaving your job to go for Big Brother. I understand African moms are like that. That was it. It was so beautiful. They had a gala night because it was looking beautiful. Kosi told us, you know, in her live stream, there is no sheep. Oh, don't be shipping her with what she does not know. The only sheep right now is Co Money. That is Kosi and Money. Yes, guys. Now, still on Kosi, yeah. So, you remember this picture that Kosi posted yesterday? And a lot of us were like, ah, the brows are not really blending. You know, the lip is not really the right color. They did not contour it well. Like, the makeup wasn't looking good. Now, Kosi put out this tweet to let us know that she's okay with it. That she doesn't mind about all these things, about changing her glam team and all that. Her own is to meet up with um with African Union and, of course, have a conversation or meet up with Oprah. Now, if Kosi says she's okay with what her makeup artist is doing, I guess, you know, that settles, that settles it, right? But then again, I'll say this. In as much as she's focusing on career, charity, and all that, there ain't nothing bad in, like, you know, having your makeup done properly, you know, as you are going there. 
Yes, I mean, or let her just wear her natural look. I mean, there was this time that there's this picture of Kosi I used to have. She was with that. She folded her hair, you know, it's black and she wore black and she was really looking nice, honestly. Or maybe Kosi should just fire all these people and start doing her makeup herself because the one she used to do in the house for herself actually looks better than what they are doing for her now. Yes. And for those of you who are like, oh, Ezine, you hate her. Ezine, Nigerians don't like her. Nigerian bloggers, blah, blah, blah. Excuse you. When you come on this channel and we are bashing our fellow Nigerians for looking weird or wearing things that are not fitting them, why didn't you have a lot to say then? Why do we always have to turn this about country? See, I'm not one of those bloggers that you can shush by bringing this whole country rivalry because I'm going to floor you. Yes, because I have plenty evidence to show that we don't hate South African housemates. Whether it be a South African housemate or a Nigerian housemate, once you are wearing something that is not good, especially in this reunion that is coming, Sha, we will talk about it. Ah, uh -uh. If you see a Zine come out of your screen now wearing one kind of makeup or foundation shade that is not my color, won't you talk about it? Won't you say, Ezine, Kilele, what is this? How about everything mustn't be about somebody hating you? You guys should take a chill pill, take corrections. You understand? But since, you know, Kosi says she's cool with it, then it's fine. Anyways, away from all that. So I told you that Meli is also part of the people that went, you know, with Kosi for her homecoming. Well, Meli is also tired of all the, you know, talk about him, Tabang and Nelisa. He told us via yeah, this tweet that let whatever happened in the house be in the house. I mean, it's past, it's gone, it's in the house. You know, we should move on. And I honestly agree with him. Yeah, I mean, that narrative and everything, like Olivia said, Biggie's house is not outside, and outside is not Biggie's house. But with the fans here, Mba no, they will not. They are still holding on to whatever it is that happened in the house. Yes, guys. Anyways, away from that, Tatsi also in her media rounds let us know that she and KJ are good. Remember I did a video and I was like, it's kind of awkward that, you know, Tatsi was not at KJ's birthday, and it's also awkward that I didn't see him repost her um birthday greetings well i also saw him commenting on her page that very day yes guys and she coming out to say you know what that they are good but then again tati's fans are also very pissed you know at kj saying that his own fans are very controlling controlling rather of him and that he is you know playing into their hands because maybe he's afraid of them or maybe he's afraid that the gifts will stop coming yeah, me, I don't know about that, Sha, but that's what they are saying. Now, talking about gifts, KJ is still receiving birthday gifts. Yes, guys, some of his fans rallied around and got him more gifts yesterday. And also, Yemi Craig, the ladies' man, is also being pampered by his fans. And now the question is, when will this gift stop? Like, you guys, let you people say money no day, but true, true, money day, the way you guys are spoiling your face. Well, it's all good. I mean, it's good to appreciate them, but do not change to hate when they don't do the things that you want them to do. That's my own. Anyways, guys, on that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video until I come your way again. I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.